Looking at the attendance today, you can see that uh, it's basically full and this reflects a signal uh, from the PME community, our membership base. They uh, see value in these kinds of things and I'm glad that uh, we are with them and we once again prove that we are on their side. Uh, in future, that we will be having more and more uh, PMEs. Uh, it is very, very uh, important that we equip ourselves with the necessary uh, skills uh, and knowledge. Be patient. Don't rush into thinking that you want to be a CEO because even if you succeed rushing into it, you are fall. So take your time, uh, progress towards what you can do and monitor yourself, you know, you don't have to feel I've become a CEO after 18 years. It's not because their life is so perfect. It's not because everything goes according to that. It doesn't! But it is because they constantly know where they want to be and they keep readjusting their strategy. Does that make sense, everyone? I always say big things start small. Big changes starts. But the internet is a leveling, level playing field. And why isn't anybody doing that? So I realized that you know, if you sort of miss the boat or you know, miss the opportunity of hitting the right one you know, and score the university, it gets really tough. And it's about at this point I came across the concept of luck saving. The, the stuff on the floor are my colleagues who are serving our guests coming through every day. Understanding yourself, be a, a you know, a, a, maybe not an expert, but somebody who knows more about it than anybody else in your in your organisation. We must benchmark ourselves with more class and passion, especially for marketing. Because to be able to sell a product based on a need has to do with the skill set of being able to sell. Make sense? If you are a professional, you want to brand your own yourself, your expertise. What you could do is that you get your colleagues, your boss, your clients even to wrap something of you. My idea is very simple. If you believe you can, you can. Continuous improvement. Never be acting like right. Concern and respect. Never be acting to throw book or scream or shout at any of my people or stuff. And finally, autonomy and autonomy. I think the participants are actually being exposed today to a variety of speakers from different fields and if they can pick up one good point from every speaker, that will be very invaluable to them. I learned a lot from this person. I learned a lot in terms of management style and management skills. So set myself very challenging target. One day I want to be like that Mr. Superhero. But this is where I'm starting from. As long as I show progress every day, I'm getting, I'm getting there. I think CEOs are the most resilient people in the organisation. It is so hard to be a CEO and you will have to do things that you don't like. Our young generation can learn because these are life skills. Take the suffering first, take the hard work first, and then join the cruise later. We have also the ability to use technology to radically communicate and engage differently with customers. Personally, I'm in sales right now, and I thought that was really encouraging. For myself, I attended the entrepreneurship talk yesterday. It's uh, by Mr. Chiu Mingshen. It's about how to start a company with nothing at all, with zero capital. So all the life lessons he learned, and it's very insightful. Uh, these are platforms where we create opportunities for each individual to really look at the areas of your interest. Uh, based on the feedback, uh, that we have gathered today. We would definitely love to do it next year. But more importantly, we would do a series every month so that it leads up to next year in a fabulous way.